Hi friend, welcome to my studio apartment bohemian bedroom organization tour. I shared a full tour of my 400 square foot Southern California studio apartment in this video which I will link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and comment below anything you find helpful. So my bedroom organization actually starts in my living room where my dresser sits behind my bed. In the top left drawer, I contain my underwear, socks, and camis. I have a video where I show you my favorite way to fold these. In the drawer just below, I contain my pajamas with my tops on the left and bottoms on the right. And in the bottom drawer, I contain my sweaters, including my ugly Christmas sweater, which I have had for several years, which my daughter and our friends will borrow because it typically wins ugly Christmas sweater contests. Just behind, I store some Christmas slippers to coordinate appropriately, of course. In the top middle drawer, I contain my bras along with some clothing accessories, including some fashion tape, a lint brush, an old toothbrush to clean the lint brush, and some safety pins. In the drawer just below, I contain my workout clothes with this hooded jacket back here, two shirts, two tank tops, and four sets of leggings with my thicker ones in the back for colder days, and three regular ones in the middle and some biker shorts in the front. In the bottom drawer, I contain a hat and some scarves. My black scarf should be in here, but I think my daughter has it. The three drawers to the right contain items I will share in my living room organization tour. Moving on to my nightstand, I have an essential oil diffuser here on top and my oil stored in the drawer below. I also keep the current book I might be reading on top along with a coaster and this tray I made which I show you in this video here. Within the drawer I store a book light, a face massager, and eyeglass cleaner on this side. Above that I store my foundation. Next to that I have three backup mascaras. I know it's a lot, but that's what happens when you get mascara from Costco. Next to those, I have these hideous glasses which help to cancel blue light, which you wear a few hours before bed so you can sleep better at night. I am actually sleeping much better, so I don't think I will need these anymore, thank god. In this organizer, I keep my makeup sponges, this mascara wand replacement cushion, and some special occasion makeup like this powder concealer, a translucent powder a highlighter, and a red lipstick. In this section, I store an eye patch, a long story, but sometimes I have to wear it for eye pain. With the eye patch, I store an eyeglass cleaning cloth along with this eyeglass cleaner spray bottle. In this section here, I store my phone supplies including earbuds, a charger, and this phone stand. With my essential oils, I store some eye drops and lip balm. I share how I set up this closet super inexpensively in my full studio apartment tour video. And here is a close-up of my shoes, starting with my sneakers, including these white Pumas. Nike's back here. And some boots. These are my only pair of boots. In the other bin, I have some black heels, tan heels, black loafers, tan loafers, black heels, burgundy heels, these green slides, mob slides, and black sandals. If you're thinking these need some serious cleaning, I agree. Next to that, I store my purses, starting with a backpack here, a blush pink purse, 
a tan crossbody bag. This handbag and this tote. Next to the bin, I store my briefcase. I have a video on how I organize four different types of purses including this briefcase. Last but not least, I have my current purse I am using here. Going back up to the closet rack, I wanted to show you how I store my empty hangers. I have always stored empty hangers at the end of my closet. It makes it easy to grab them all at once on laundry day. And because my apartment is so tiny and I have no garage or shed, I needed to utilize the area under my bed for storage. Starting at the end of my bed, I store my tripod and lighting kit. Underneath the side of the bed where my nightstand is, I have a microwave under the bed. I just place it there for now until I give it away since I replaced it with the toaster oven I shared in my kitchen organization tour. On this side of the bed, I store a hand truck. It's like a dolly, but it is adjustable, so it's super helpful for lugging heavy things from the car to inside the house. I know, so random. And next to the hand truck, I store my tools in a literal box. I have painting supplies, my toolbox, other tools, paint, spackle and other mediums. This box is the perfect size to fit under my bed. And the reason why I can fit everything under my bed is because I place these risers underneath. Everything you saw in this video is linked in the description box below. Be sure to subscribe. You subscribing, liking, and commenting on my video helps my video to move up in the algorithm so other people can find it. In my next video, I will share the detailed organization and decor tour of my tiny living room. Happy organizing!